in this video we'll talk about how you can search the data in a list control on a UX component. So in this video we're going to talk about uh, server-side searching and in a subsequent video we'll talk about client-side searching. So uh, you can see here we have a simple list control based on the customer table from uh, Northwind and uh, currently we're displaying all of the data but let's say we'd like to uh, filter this list and only display data from Argentina so now we basically go there and click the button um, <coughs> that does an Ajax callback and then filters the list or let's go here and select say multiple values in this control and then go ahead there and click the uh, search button and you can see the search gets performed so let's go now and see how this was uh, set up. So first when you go to controls you can see that we've added a new control here called country and this is a drop-down box and if we go to choices we can see that the drop-down box is populated with a list of all of the countries uh, from the uh, Northwind customer table and we've also configured the drop-down box to have a height of 5 and to allow multiple choices. Then we have a button here which actually does the search and if we go to um, the click event here we can see that we're using an action in Action JavaScript so if we just go here and add new action we can see in uh, the UX component actions there's an action called filter records in a list control so we've uh, chosen uh, that action over here and let's go now and look at the definition of that action. So the uh, list control that we're going to be um, controlling is the list called uh, list. Now obviously there could be multiple list controls uh, on the UX components so we, need, we do need to specify which list control we're talking to. Now here's where we actually define the search fields. So in this case we only have a single field called country and we've specified that allow QBF searching is allowed which means that um, QBF syntax is going to be supported and currently our search option is set to 2 which means is contained in. So we've got uh, quite a lot of um, flexibility in defining exactly how the search uh, expression will be uh, computed. Then we can also go here and turn on debugging information and specify the name of the placeholder where the debugging information is going to be stored. So I'm going to just go here and uh, uh, specify debug even though I haven't yet added a placeholder called debug. We'll do that next. So go ahead there and close that. Save that and let's go now to other controls uh, placeholders and then call this placeholder uh, debug. So now when we go to uh, working preview and select say Argentina oops, uh, we're not seeing our debug information so let's go and fix that. So we'll go back there and I believe it's probably because of a case sensitive issue so we'll go there edit and change that to debug in um, the correct case and go back now and uh, run this and there we go. So there's our um, filter expression that has been computed from the um, data that was submitted when we pressed the uh, search button over here. Now we're not limited to a single search field so let's for example go in and add another search field say on uh, city. Uh, so we'll go to country over here and then add another control here called uh, city and then let's go add city into our um, uh, search definition so we'll edit this and now go add in the uh, city control and we'll say that the city field is going to do a search inside the corresponding um, city field in the uh, customer table and we're going to basically allow QBF syntax so we'll go there now click OK click save, go to working preview and then let's go here and type in London and then click search and you can see now we basically have uh, a search on uh, the city equals London. So let's uh, clear the search by uh, removing all of the data from the search criteria and then click search and there you go we've now uh, cleared the search. So let's pause now and continue in the next video.
So we're continuing our discussion on server-side searching of a list component. So let's go now and uh, search for, uh, say, those countries and now uh, specify, say, we only want to find cities that are uh, that start with a character that is, um, say, less than C, uh, le uh, less than C, so that should eliminate that record that record and that record. So we'll go to city and we'll type in uh, uh, dot dot C then click search and you can see we eliminated those cities. We could also have typed in less than C over there to get the same result and you can see now our filter basically has the country clause and it also has the uh, city clause over there so uh, you can see that we're using arguments uh, in the filter so the filter clause has arguments and then here are the argument values that we used uh, in the actual search so uh, you can see that the argument value is the first part the data type for the argument is the second part and then the argument name there is the third part so what we've defined what we've shown over here is uh, creating a search part much like the search part uh, in a grid component but there's also a second type of search that you can do a server-side search called a keyword search so let's um, uh, switch over now uh, to a uh, new control let's go back here and uh, put in a uh, new control here called say uh, uh, keyword and then uh, we'll define a new button called keyword search so we'll go to other controls and then we'll just type in button and we'll type in say keyword search and then we'll put the uh, button on the same line as the um, keyword search field and then let's just go here and add a, but a label above it so that the uh, button and the keyword search field are aligned. So now let's go and define the uh, behavior for this uh, keyword search button. So again we'll go to uh, UX component and uh, filter records in a list control and we'll specify the list we're talking about, list 1. And now we're going to turn on uh, keyword searching and the field that contains our uh, keyword search is going to be called keyword and now we specify which fields we'd like to include in our keyword search so let's go here and say company name contact name title city and country so go ahead now and let's also display debugging information in that same location so save this now and now go over to uh, working preview and I'll just type in say uh, uh, LON and then click search and you can see now we've done a search in the company name field, the contact name field, the contact title field, the city field and the uh, country field. So let's go here and just type in say AN and then click search and so you can see now we basically found records where we've got AN over there, we've got AN over there, we've got AN over there etc. So we've been able to create uh, a very powerful search uh, very easily using um, action scripting. So now let's um, take a look at some other enhancements that we can add to the uh, list control here. So one of the things that would be nice to know is how many records satisfy the search criteria. So let's go back here and then go to the list and then in defined controls we see that we have a um, predefined control called list record count. So let's go add that control uh, sp specifically for the list called uh, list. Now remember there could be multiple lists uh, on this component and let's just put that above the actual um, control itself. So if we go look inside the um, the list we see it's got a special um, uh, ID called list.recordCount. So uh, let's go ahead now and uh, quickly run this and uh, hit the search button and you can see now there are seven records in our list. So what we've shown now is how you can add both uh, search part style searching and also keyword searching uh, to a list, how you can show debug information to show what the actual filter is and how you can show the number of records in the list. Thanks very much for watching.